was a Monday. The following Saturday was the Times Square bomb. By Tuesday, we had all the facts. This is the kind of story that makes people want to turn on the news, so you want to take advantage of it. That's News 101, right? What is this meeting? Is it News 101? To artificially hype the threat of a bomb, you're confusing it with douchebaggery 101. And the Muslim? That was a borderline call, but they're qualified to make borderline calls. What is this meeting about? Keep going. By comparison, CBS had Katie open her show from Times Square, while Newsnight gave it three minutes and 20 seconds. Basically said there was nothing to worry about, and as you said, mentioned that one of the people who notified the police was a Muslim. That's called squandering an opportunity. These are the important facts. First, it was a lone wolf. Shahzad was trained in Pakistan, but he wasn't connected to a terror network. Second, the situation was handled by first responders and law enforcement, not an army. And finally, the system worked. He was taken off the plane by a final check of the flight manifest by a U.S. customs officer. What about the fact he was allowed on the plane in the first place, 10 hours after the feds put him on a no-fly list? The airline hadn't updated its files yet, which is why Customs and Border Protection does a second check. That's the system working. Three minutes at the top. Well? Agree. You understand we're making a conscious choice now to do the boring version of the story? That's not how I'd put it, but... Great. Yeah. Uh, Mac, there's one more thing. Yeah? Everyone's reporting that it was a t-shirt vendor named Lance Orton who spotted the smoking car and called 911. It was. I, I know, but it turns out Lance Orton was alerted to the smoking car by a photograph vendor named Ali Unias, an immigrant from Senegal. Why haven't we heard about this guy? Two possible reasons. One is that he didn't make the call. He said, um... I thought I should call 911, but my English is not very good and I had no credit left on my phone, so I walked over to Lance, who has a t-shirt stall next to mine, and told him. What's the second possible reason we haven't heard about him? He's a Muslim. How'd you get this? A Pakistani blog? It's not the world's most reliable source. I know, so I confirmed it with the NYPD, and it's true. And the Times of London has it online, and I think if the religion of the bomber is important, then so is the religion of the guy who saved everyone's life. So do I. All right. 320 at the top. How many viewers?